Malarone tablet contains two medicines, atovaquone and proguanil. It is used to prevent and treat malaria caused by mosquito bites in countries where malaria is common. Malaria parasites can enter the body through these mosquito bites and live in body tissues such as red blood cells or the liver. This medication is used to kill the malaria parasites living inside red blood cells and other tissues. In some cases, you may need to take a different medication, such as primaquine, to complete your treatment. Both medications may be needed for a complete cure and to prevent the return of infection. Atovaquone slash proguanil belongs to a class of drugs known as antimalarials. Be sure to discuss the most recent travel recommendations with your doctor before traveling to areas where malaria occurs. As for the daily dosage and optimal timing, it is best to take malarone tablet at the same time each day with food or a milky drink. Before taking malarone tablet, make sure to read the patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth with food or a milky drink that contains fat. If you vomit within one hour of taking a dose, repeat the dose and contact a doctor if vomiting doesn't stop. Swallow the tablet whole and do not chew. The dosage is based on your medical condition, on whether you are preventing or treating the illness, and your response to treatment. To prevent illness, take malarone tablet as directed by your doctor, usually once daily, one to two days before entering a malarious area and continue taking it while in the area and for seven days after leaving. If needed, Primaquine can be taken for 14 days starting during the last week of treatment with malarone tablet or starting immediately after finishing treatment. To treat malaria, take this medication as directed by your doctor, usually once daily for three days. It is important to continue taking this medication exactly as prescribed by your doctor and to prevent mosquito bites. Get medical help right away if you develop symptoms of malaria and tell your doctor if your condition lasts or gets worse when using malarone tablet for treatment. If you experience nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, headache, diarrhea, weakness, loss of appetite, or dizziness, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know. However, many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. Be sure to tell your doctor right away if you experience any serious side effects, such as signs of serious liver problems, anemia, or severe infection. A very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, but seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice any other effects, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. And remember, always consult your healthcare provider for medical advice about side effects. Before taking Malarone tablet, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have, as this medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions. Also, be sure to discuss your medical history with your healthcare provider, including any current diarrhea, vomiting, kidney or liver problems, mental-slash-mood problems, or seizures. Malarone tablet may cause dizziness, especially when combined with alcohol or marijuana. It's important to avoid driving, using machinery, or any activities requiring alertness until you can do so safely. Limiting alcoholic beverages is also recommended. If you are planning to have surgery, it's important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and herbal products you are currently using. For pregnant women, Malarone tablet should only be used when clearly needed, especially when traveling to an area with malaria. It's essential to discuss the risks and benefits of malaria prevention with your doctor. If you are breastfeeding, it's unclear if atovaquone passes into breast milk, while proguanil in this medication does. The effects of this medication on a nursing infant are not known, so it's important to consult with your doctor before breastfeeding if you are taking malarone tablet. When taking malarone tablet, it's important to be aware of any potential drug interactions that could affect how the medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription-slash-non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's essential to not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with malarone tablet include penicillamine, blood thinners such as warfarin and metoclopramide. Additionally, other medications can affect the removal of atovaquone slash proguanil from your body, which may affect how malarone tablet works. Examples of these medications include ifavirenz, rifampin, 
rifibutin, tetracycline, among others. It's crucial to discuss any potential drug interactions with your healthcare provider before starting Malarone tablet and to follow their guidance on the best time to take the medication and the appropriate dosage for your specific needs. If someone has taken too much Malarone and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, they should call 911 immediately. Otherwise, they should contact a poison control center right away. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. It is important not to share Malarone tablets with others. Your doctor may require you to undergo lab and or medical tests, such as blood cell counts and liver function tests, while you are taking this medication. It is important to keep all medical and lab appointments. Consult your doctor for more details. If you happen to forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next one at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing Malarone tablets, it's important to keep them at room temperature and away from light and moisture. Remember not to store them in the bathroom, and always keep them out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of any unused medication, it's important to properly discard the product when it's expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to do this, and remember not to flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.